Good evening and welcome back once again. So if you watched the last video, we had a comfortable 2-0 win. Um, but I did say that there's been some people called up for international duty. We've got some big fixtures next week, a double header. So we're going to have to see some squad rotation, I believe, in the next sort of coming weeks. And this is the lineup we've gone with. So we have got Jamal Lewis at left back today. Declan Rice is back in defensive mid. We've got Bellingham playing off the left. Bruno's in the centre. Same two up front, but if you look down at the bottom, you can see Dest and St. Maximum were called to represent. So um, we've now got Trippier back in, who did play the last match. And it just means we've got a bit of a change, I suppose, an enforced change. But we like to mix things up anyway. But we'll jump straight into the match and see how we got on against Brentford. And we'll kick off. So let's hope we can keep the, the goal scoring streak continuing. Um, but also the clean sheet record as well. Hang on, I just need to do something. Um, there we go. Be the black on the uh, the radar there, just so I don't get confused. Oh, lovely touch from Bellingham. Gumresh, and it's gone in. Is that going to be an own goal? Nope, it's going to be classes Bruno's. Must have been on target. Wonderful start. Unlucky keeper though. Yeah, I wonder if the keeper would have saved it, I'm not sure. But, five minute goal. I mean, obviously I love Bruno in real life, but on this game he, he's disappointed a bit. I don't think his stats really reflect how you know good he should be. Um, and maybe... Maybe this version of Pez doesn't suit his type of player, if that makes sense. You know, you do see that sometimes, like, every Pez um, has certain types of players that will naturally just be better in the game. Whether that's like strong centre forwards, quick centre forwards, um, dribbling, it, it does change every year. And this one, for some reason, at least the way I play, maybe, um, have I haven't got the best out of uh, Bruno. Maybe it's me. But he's on a charge again here. Oh, wonderful one-touch football. Oh my word, what a goal. That is going to be one of the goals of the season. Wow. That was that was just perfect. <laughs> That's all I can say. Great one touch football. Oh what a lob though. What a way to finish it. Oh look at it just curl in. I've gotta say I think that's probably the favourite goal I've scored. Um in this career mode so far. Whew. That's the first successful lob goal I've had as well. I've tried it a couple of times very, very unsuccessfully. It is hard to get it exactly right. Here's Almiron. Oh, way over hit. I knew I'd over hit it straight away. Radiol initially wins it and then loses out. No harm done though. Oh, Niao could be in again. Can he get a decent ball in or no? Can it... oh, that's terrible. Good tackle there from Declan Rice. Somehow decides to turn back on himself. Um, Bellingham's free here. Good tackle in the end. Losing out some of the 50 50s in the past few minutes. Yep, 
Yeah, we're not getting the look. <laughs> Every single uh, tackle, that's... It, the ball's bouncing straight at their players. Um, and again... Nice uh, clearance there. Decent ball up by White of Bellingham. Isaac should have been two, uh, three. Can't even say words. Isaac gets it back though. Bruno with the ball again. Not really anyone there, but he's got Lewis on the overlap. Ah, straight to the keeper. Yeah, I just couldn't think of words, what I was saying there. A bit frantic. Here's Bruno. Oh, lovely turn by Almiron. And there's just no one there. There's just no one to pass to. Um. That's a f oh, was that not a foul? Did that just give the ball away? I thought that fouled. Could be wrong. Doesn't matter now anyway, it wasn't given. Bellingham, Liao. Oh, he's got to get his foot stuck in there, Isaac. Come on, got to do better there. Oh, he wasn't favourite for the ball, but just fling yourself at it. Good tackle. Good play. Liao. Oh, he should have hit it first time. It just didn't bounce kindly. The first touch was a bit too heavy. Otherwise, that was a certain goal. There it is, 2-0 at half time. That could have been 4 or 5. That could have been anything. But the main thing is we've got a good lead. And what a fantastic goal that second one was. Let's jump back straight into the second half. Yeah, that was pretty relentless by us. Slightly disappointed that we were only winning 2-0. But um, it's not a bad thing, I suppose, to be... Oh, it's terrible. It's not anywhere near where I was passing. Um, but yeah, being disappointed that you're only winning 2-0. Um, you know, that's a good day. So, here's Isaac. Through to Bruno. Isaac again. Armour on. Now Isaac. Not a lot of space. Liao. Should have been three. How have we not scored a third? I do not know. I don't know what that touch is. Yeah, but how we haven't scored that third goal. It's crazy. Uh, oh, Jamal Lewis has got quite a bit of space here to run into. Isaac. Oh, what is going on? Again, another fantastic chance. I mean, it was well played. Not the best finish, obviously, but anyway, here's Liao. Oh, went for another chip. Yeah, I shouldn't have went for another chip there, really, but the angle was tight. I think a normal shot, the keeper would save it anyway. Ah, it's well over by uh, Bruno. We'll make some changes shortly, but I'm not really sure who we can bring off. Played so well. Good win from Jamal Lewis there.
just clearing at that time. So yeah, we'll make some changes. Okay, so we're going to bring on Davies, Hill and Rainer, and take off Lewis, Almiron and Bruno. And I've actually moved Bellingham into the centre, and Rainer's going to be playing out left, because I think he's better suited coming off the wing. The wing. Ooh. Come on, kick it quickly. Lovely little play by Davies there. Bellingham did all the hard work and just hit it straight to keep there on the finish. That's a shot and ball from Botman. That's a free kick. I think the ref could have played on potentially there, so. Point here on the run here. Again, how has that not gone in? Oh my word. Fifteen minutes left, and this should have been five or six. That's not even exaggerating. It's uh, scary how many chances we've created in this game. Only out through now. That was very dangerous tackle, but he got the ball. Very good tackle. It was through there. I mean, that could have been a red card and everything, couldn't it? Um, yeah. Again, how's that not gone in? What? <laughs> the player's just not reacting. I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, it's a foul. Quite sure how I lost that one, but we did. Got it back now. Yeah, oh, there we go. 3 0. Brian Hill a bit unlucky there. It was a lovely run. Got fouled. Played on. Good save by the keeper. Yeah, with a follow up though. Yeah, lovely run. Good save, but Leah was there to follow in. Very nice. And that's uh, the least we deserve, you know. Um, we have just demolished this team. It's not a good ball. Was ping ponging all over the shop. Yeah, don't let in a goal. Sorry, is it? Yeah. There it is, three nil. But that should. I've been much, much more, but again, three goals, clean sheet. And just looking at the ratings, Liao, man of the match, Isaac seven, Bruno seven. Some really good ratings all around. Yeah, Amron, I thought he played well in the first half. He tailed off a bit. Really, really good game. I wouldn't say anyone played badly in that game whatsoever. It was just sometimes the 
finishing touch just wasn't quite there. We got a bit unlucky sometimes as well on, on finishes and things like that. So, But that second goal will go down as probably one of the goals of the season, if not the goal of the season. But there we go, guys. Next week is going to be a double header in terms of the amount of games that are playing in the week. Benfica in the league and then Galatasaray in the cup. So again, rotation is going to be key. But we're on the charge again, scoring goals, keeping clean sheets, creating lots and lots of chances, playing pretty exciting football. So I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like and comment below. Subscribe if you can. Um, but more importantly, thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you soon.